Hey guys, Rick from Sonus here, back in another video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a bass house drop like artists as abstracts and not too. So abstract switches his style from this to this. So in today's video, we're gonna cover that new style, like he did in tracks as Ring the Alarm and his Do It To It remix. So the drop consists of really aggressive leads aggressive drums and just a lot of groove and hype so let's start off with the lead synth so i got this in a preset now let's take the preset from the new bass house pack we'll be using this sound so first let's make the melody we're gonna be working in a minor so let's start off on the third note and then go down to the a Sounding like this. So all those tracks have in common that they switch to a triplet rhythm. So somewhere in the melody there has to be a triplet rhythm. Otherwise it just doesn't fit the style. So let's try it here. Let's bump it up on semitone. Yeah, that's perfect. And back to the root note. Perfect. That will work perfect for the melody, so now we're gonna mix it. First, get rid of the low end. Because I wanna have a separate sub playing. And some reverb. And delay. And a side chain. So that's basically it for the lead sounds. Now we're gonna layer it with a sub bass. So I got this new serum. Take a preset from the pack. We'll be using this dirty sub, which is basically a sound wave with a noise oscillator and slightly distorted. Copy over the melody. Sounding like this. So now we're gonna mix it. First some distortion to bring out more harmonics. And a little bit of EQing to bring out more of the sub frequencies. And of course the side chain to finish it off. So all together the synth stack sounds like this. So we got the synth ready, so now it's time to dive into the drums. We'll be using these samples. So I made this basic drum loop with it, with a kick, open head and clap. Which is dope, but it needs more groove, so... So I took this drum loop from the pack. And cut out some groove elements. With a snare. Already, just some more bounce. Then I took this vocal chant loop and cut it up. Just like this. And then I just dropped in some more effects from the back with a downlifter. The crowd noise. And a vocal siren. So all together the drums sound like this. So then I tried to add some more variation to it to make it a little bit more interesting. So I took some laser sounds like this one and this one and add it to the track. So for example, with the drums, it sounds like this. Just makes it more interesting. So then again, to make it more interesting, I add some more automations. So when a drop hits, I only want to have the lead playing on the first part. I added an endless smell to it, giving this effect. So I automated it together with the EQ and the sidechain, sounding like this. So 
So another thing I want to add for some more variation is the different lead sounds. And he lost more of the drops, so let's duplicate the lead. That's like the preset for the pack. We're gonna use this one. That's the same mixing channel, so just copy over the melody. Which adds a dope variation, so in the track it sounds like this. So then we got all the elements of the drop ready. So now we're gonna make a quick build up to give the drop more context. Here's the build up, I just added in a vocal from the pack. All these girls, they be twerking all right. Look at all these girls, they be twerking all right. A build up loop from the pack. A lot of risers. A reese bass. The kick and the build up. And just some more FX. So that's it for the new abstract style drop. I think it turned out really dope. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Besides that, besides that, hit the like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Look at, these, look, at these, look at all these girls, they be twerking all right. Twerking on